a couple of questions and um, I'm going to work my way backwards here because it, this is a ni nice fun one. Um, mm -hmm. The Vox guitar is rock says is 10 meters ever making a comeback. And I think the answer is probably it most certainly is. It but, has been. Uh, it has it, been. It really has been. It, uh, people, I've been seeing more and more posts. Mm -hmm. And is opening up. Um, watch it. I mean, don't watch the sun um, number widget. Like on QR yeah. code. Don't watch that. Get out and call CQ on 10. Mm -hmm. That's the only way to know if it's opening up. Because it's kind of one of those up and down bands a little bit, but get out there and just call. And I, it, you'll be surprised. Same thing with six meters. Get out there and call. Yep. Yep. The thing with 10 meters is, is it can be, um, it can be wildly unpredictable. So you never, you never really know when it's gonna, you know, mm -hmm. when it's going to open up or how it's going to open up. And um, as we get towards, as we crest the peak of the sunspot cycle, 10 meters will be reliably open you know, almost, almost all the time. Well, we're nowhere but near the peak yet. We're nowhere near the peak. We're not even, we're probably a third of the way up the, up the climb. I think we got so. two or three years before it peaks. And then we still got a couple of years mm -hmm. after the peak as well. Yep. So, so that means it's going to be wildly unpredictable. You know, it's, if there's good ionization, you know, the sunspots, then, you know, 10 opens mm -hmm. up, yeah. but it, it's one of those, it's one of those things where you don't really know unless you try. Yeah. So, um, Give it a shot. Um, daytime hours are always the best. Call CQ or listen around. There's we we've, we've time we've, and gray line. Gray line is mm -hmm. ten on gray line is a very popular time, especially if you want to hit Japan and stuff. Yeah. So if you got if you got the old Rat Shack uh, to meter mobile radio, dig it out, get her back on the air. Yep. Or listen, is the um, is that that Georgia Beacon still running? You know the mouth from the south. <laughs> So, um, I don't know. So, I so we're talking about Kilo Charlie for, for Tango Victor Zulu. Tango Victor Kilo Zulu. Charlie for Tango Victor. The guy gets on uh, 28 425 or just yep. calls CQ like a freight train, right? Um, I think in the past year he's migrated from 10 meters to parks on the air. He's been doing a lot of parks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. But you can always reliably know when 10 meters will because he's all be calling at 28, 425 so much that I would turn to 28, 425. And if I could hear him, I know 10 was open. I didn't even go down to the beacon section, right? Because <laughs> I think beacons are 28, 250 to 28, 3. Yeah, yeah. Up on the, uh, yeah, because voice starts at 28, 3. So the beacons are around 28, 280 ish and change. So right. I, I, I thought it was 250 to 300, but it could be 280. Anyways. So yeah. spin your dial below 28,300. <laughs> listen for the beacons, right? And if you can start hearing some beacon, if you start hearing CW down there, that, that 50 KC section, mm -hmm. then you know what's open. If you know CW, you, you can identify where those beacons are at. That'll yep. tell you which direction is open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it. yeah, so listen, listen for 10, you know, cruise it, um, cruise it every once in a while. Uh, to see if it's open, and if ten is open, mm -hmm. you always check six meters because if if if, if there's an opening on ten, there's a good chance there's going to be an opening on six. Yeah, so absolutely, if you're yeah. yeah, you know, if you're a technician looking for some HF stuff, that's you know, there you go. You know, it's right. um, so rewind the shack fire we all know about. I still have a six meter antenna with good coax, so I'm tempted to get that fired up here in the next week or two if I have a life anymore. And um, start calling on six meters, and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, ten thousand plus miles wow. have been possible. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I've, I've heard from the United States to the South Pacific and Japan has been open a few times. So, yeah, you don't need to run a lot of power. This is a hundred watt. This is a hundred watt band, guys. Mm -hmm. Fire it up and see what I mean. Yeah, if you got fifteen hundred watts, I mean, sure, I guess you can go ahead and fire her up. But <laughs> you'll be surprised what a hundred. You'll be surprised <laughs> what fifty watts will do on ten meters when that when it opens up. Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. 
For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.